Welcome back, beautiful people. Today, we are finally watching the latest Alan Becker Stickman video. It's called The Box, Animator vs. Animation 6, episode number 2. Now, it's been a while since we've seen episode number 1, so I thought we would do a quick recap. As you guys can see, it came out 6 months ago, and I also wanted to look through your guys' comments, but pretty much in this video, um, it looked like Man, the chosen one, he was getting chased by pretty much like every single one of these like different assassins. And then eventually the boys get involved, the second coming ends up helping. But if we go all the way to the end of the episode, it gets kind of interesting, which I just want to quickly play so you guys get like a little recap. Maybe they were part of like the stick man world order, but no. So we see this and guy. It looks like they have a boss. Yep. And I didn't know who that was at the time, but that's how the episode ends, is we see this guy right here, and I was curious, so I asked you guys, and you guys said, the stick figure at the end is victim. The stick figure you see in Alan's very first animator versus animation. And a lot of you guys were saying that, um, but yeah, uh, it seems like this is literally one of the first ever characters that Alan Becker ever created and now he's after the chosen one, which is crazy to think that Alan Becker would bring back this character so, so much later. But guys, I'm guessing this episode is probably going to be all about the victim and the boys and the chosen one. So here we go. Without further ado, let's check out the box. So we're starting out, starting out strong. We have the boys out in the wilderness. It's a shame because the boys don't really like have some crazy powers. I mean, they have the power of friendship. Which usually is enough, honestly. But if they're not in Minecraft, you know, they're they're kind of just basic. They don't have any, like, cool weapons. And, you know, they don't have any of, like, the Second Coming's crazy powers. Or even, like, the Chosen One's powers. But, um, yeah. They're the boys. And they're epic. So they're gonna get the job done. It's also super cool in Alan Becker's latest animations. Um, the Animator vs. Animation series where it's a 3D world. Like, within the Minecraft world, it's like on Alan Becker's PC, it's 2D for the most part. This just takes it to the absolute next level, where it's a movie. It's better than some movies. It just, it reminds me of like, the most epic anime ever. But the thing is, nobody talks. There's really not much music. And it's just, it's so good. You know exactly what's happening without any words ever needing to be said, which is impressive. Literally, Alan Becker is like the only person ever to do that. And it's amazing. Okay, so they're looking for that symbol, which they saw when the second coming got, got kidnapped. So they're looking for the symbol, and uh, it's probably going to lead them to the secret headquarters of the victim, and also the assassin team. All right, the boys know exactly what to do. Oh, that guy, he is a shady figure. You know a, a guy is shady when he's getting into a giant truck, and he's got a black hat, and he's got it, like, really low down, so you can't see his eyeballs. Even though they, they technically don't have eyeballs. Okay, they're on the move. <laughs> what is Red doing, bro? It's also really epic seeing, like, the, the world. You see, like, normal stick people. Like, at first, you thought it was just the boys. But no, there's an entire world of stick people doing their thing, living their lives. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Check that out. I don't know if you guys saw that on the right side, but, like, there's... Look at that. They're doing some sort of, I guess, recap of the last episode. Look at that. Yeah, they were... They're reviewing the footage from the field. That is so strange. I guess they're maybe trying to figure out what the chosen ones, or sorry, the, the second coming's powers are. And, whoa. Okay, so they have access to world edit, or sorry, Photoshop. Same idea. And they're saying that you can use this tool to draw things like your doodle bob. Did it work? Still nothing. Okay, so they need to test out something else. But, okay, so if they get this power, I mean, that would be huge. That would be a game changer. They would be able to create anything just like the second coming does. They can create sharks, they can create dragons, they can create whatever they want to fight alongside in their army. Huh. Yeah, that just... You gotta actually, like, draw something. He's just making lines. Well, I guess that's, that's what the second coming did. But the second coming is a beast. Yeah. <laughs> They have no idea what's happening. All right, there he is. The second coming and the chosen one locked up, which, you know, that shouldn't happen. These are the two most powerful things in the entire Alan Becker multiverse. How do they get locked up? Oh, no. 
Oh, wow, dude. Their technology is, is next level. Oh, there's the assassin team. And there he is. The victim. I honestly can't believe you guys recognize the victim. I Honestly, I can't believe I didn't. Honestly. Like, how did I miss that? That's so crazy. The victim has no remorse whatsoever. He has a vendetta against the chosen one. Because I'm sure he wishes he was the chosen one. I also really like the design of, like, the assassin mercenary squad. They all just have, like, their own, you know, unique features, and they just look so cool. Look at that shot! The fact that there's a 2D stick figure walking up 3D steps blows my freaking mind. Well, okay, so they're inside of the box. This is, this is basically like Alan Becker's first ever video, I think. Oh! He's awake. Oh, he's freaking out. He doesn't even care about the victim right now. He's just trying to fight his way out. He is a hothead. Like, he doesn't really think. He kind of just acts, and then he thinks later. And, I mean, that's going to get him burned, especially when he's in this box right now, where it seems like they control everything. It's like the Hunger Games arena, where they just have controls out the wazoo, and they can do whatever they want. Yep. That's, that's crazy. That's so sad. That must be such a bad feeling when, like, you're supposed to be this powerful being and you can't use any of the powers that make you powerful. No! What? Yo! Yo! What? I can't tell. Oh, 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 he's mad. He, he, oh my goodness, dude. I thought maybe, maybe there would be something else that happens, but no. He just wants to fight. And the problem is, he has hacks. He has literal admin commands. This is not a fair fight by any means. This is like literally the most unfair possible fight. It's rigged. It's rigged from the start. And the chosen one can't do anything about it. He's stuck. No, dude. Oh, this is so sad to watch. Wow. He's taking a beating and he, yep, there's nothing. He doesn't have any of his powers. He can't use laser vision. He can't use fire breath. He, I mean, he could maybe do a, a better job of fighting back. There we go. There's something. Yeah, oh, come on. Really? Uh, this is torture at this point. Literally anything can happen in this box. Anything. And whoever's in control of the box can make it happen. So if the boys can get control of the box, they can turn this entire thing around. I don't know. I don't want to say a prediction too soon. However, I think that maybe by the end, the victim and the assassin team, they're going to be locked in this box. And the boys are going to be outside controlling them. <laughs> He's literally sleeping. That's so rude. Well, is that all you wanted? Is there more? Lasso? Wow, he's... He's really just... Going crazy. Oh, no. I think this is just entertaining for him. I mean, he was originally the victim. But now he has all of this power. Right? That's the only thing he wanted was power. Just like any other victim wants. They just want to feel powerful. And now he does. But the thing is, it's not like it's the Chosen One's fault. Oh, that's horrible. He can't do anything. Did he do that? Did he freeze himself? Maybe he did, just out of self-defense. Does that mean end it? Oh, clones? Okay. So what's the plan? Oh my gosh, they all have their own weapons. No, 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 no. We need something. We need something big now. What? 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 No! 
No, 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 wait, you're, but you're still in the box, dude. I don't know how he's able to use his powers now, but I love it. Let's keep this going. Come on, chosen one. You got this, bro. You're the chosen one for a reason. Come on, keep going. Keep fighting. No. No, come on, burn it. Burn the whip. No, no, no. They're taking back over. Oh. Oh, boys, this might be it. It can't be. It can't be it. Don't do it. Don't. Oh. He had him. He. What? Oh my gosh. All right, so we know what the chosen one is up to. We know what the victim is up to. We know exactly why the victim is doing what he's doing. He wants to feel powerful, and he feels like beating up the chosen one is the only way to get revenge. But I mean, that it, it looks brutal, and there's nothing he can do. It's literally like he tried his best to fight back. It's it's literally going to come down to the boys. The boys have to save them. Because at this point, the Chosen One can't save himself. The second coming, he can't do anything. It's gonna be up to the boys. Oh, what's, uh, what's, what's going on? Okay, he's stuck in his own version of the box. Maybe this is the prototype version of the box that they originally used before they made the other one for the Chosen One. But I mean, yeah, it's the same idea. The second coming, he can't do anything. He's trapped. What? Oh, they want him to use the pencil. Ah. Okay, it's so weird that they're taking notes on... He literally picked up a pencil. Like, what are you writing down? Okay, does he even know how to do it again? Yeah. He has the power. They don't. They weren't created by Alan Becker. I mean, technically they, they kind of were, but you, you know what I mean. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so they gave him the power. They basically just gave them creative mode. Huge mistake, let's go. Come on, boys. He's trying to erase it, no. The second coming, he needs to step it up right now. He could escape if he really wanted to. He has the power in his hands to escape. All he has to do is realize it. Just start drawing. Just start. Because if you don't, the chosen one, he's going to die. Oh my gosh. When does this end? I just want him to stop getting beat up. A chair. Okay. Huh. I'm still confused about what the victim wants exactly. I mean, I thought that I knew, but I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Huh. All right. Well, it's now an interrogation. Oh, they're looking for Alan. They're looking for Alan Becker. Or at least his mouse cursor. Because, yeah, that's that's who made all of this happen. Technically, it's not the Chosen One's fault that the victim is the victim. It's Alan Becker's fault. Which is so funny, because Alan Becker made pretty much everything. Obviously, he had tons of help with his amazing team. But still, this is Alan Becker's creation that wants to destroy Alan Becker. Uh, what is, uh, what are you going to do with that? What is that thing? Okay. Is that a mind reader? I think it might be. Yeah, look, it has like a save thing. So it, all of his memories are probably going to be on there. Huh. Memory scanner. He's going all the way back. I wonder what he's going to see. 
Oh, yep, we're going back to the first episode that we saw six months ago. Yep, where we first saw, like, the assassin mercenary group. Signal lost. Oh, it's, it's, it's the boys. It's the boys. Oh, whoa. Oh, I thought the boys maybe hacked in. Okay, so they're going back to the battle between the Second Coming and the Dark Lord. Second Coming? Wait, he's there. Does he remember that? I don't know if he does. Maybe he blacked out. Maybe... Maybe he, he was taken over. I don't... I don't remember, honestly. But he, it seems like he doesn't know what, what he's capable of. He really doesn't. And I don't think they do either. Yeah, look, it's it's the Dark Lord. They had Alan Becker locked in. Yep, there he is. Alan Becker's mouse cursor. And the boys with the second coming. Okay, so now he thinks that he needs to find them. Oh no, not yellow. Yellow's my favorite. Well, luckily for them, the boys are coming straight to you. They're in the back of one of your vehicles, so they're making it a lot easier than um, than you probably planned. Earnings growth. Okay, so this is a major corporation, clearly. Business, business, business. Uh-oh. Oh, really? Boys, what are we doing here? Okay, that they literally... <laughs> they don't even try to be sneaky. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> They're so stupid. Oh, no. Well, at least they know how to fight. After, like, 60-odd episodes of Minecraft versus Animator. Uh-oh, but they're... They're not cut out to fight the mercenaries. No. No, boys. So, now what? Now who can save them? Maybe purple? Maybe? the game plan here? What is he burning? Alan Becker. He hates Alan Becker so much. And is that it? That is literally it. That is the end of the episode right there. And honestly, that was 16 minutes and that passed by so freaking fast. Okay, we're going to go down to the comments and also shout out to everybody that worked on this. There are so many people that are included in these projects now and they are amazing. That is the most amazing animation ever. But let's go ahead and uh, check out some of the comments here. Uh, the good doctor said red, yellow, green, and blue have officially broken the record for the worst rescue attempt in animation history. They were on the compound for all of 10 seconds before being spotted on security cams and captured by the head mercenary. <laughs> Uh, agreed. 100%. That's just, they tried, but did they actually try? I don't think so. I love everyone's reaction to the second coming's powers. He was looking at his hands terrified as if he was scared of himself. The mercenaries were shocked and confused, and the workers immediately ran to lock him up. And a victim was also shocked as he realized he accidentally kidnapped someone who could turn his 17 years of work and planning into dust in just a few seconds. The way he went to the TCO being like, explain all of this. I also like to think that he felt a tad jealous, realizing he is indeed the only one of Alan, Alan's creations that isn't insanely overpowered, which is kind of true. It seems like, yeah, the the victim, literally his entire, his entire mindset is that Alan Becker created him, but literally made him like one of the worst stick people ever and like tortured him and did not do good things with the victim. So I get why he you know, has been spending all of this time trying to get back at Alan Becker. But I mean, at the same time, I hope that they could do something similar to what they did in the Minecraft series where they all, you know, eventually become friends. And we learn a little bit more about the backstory of the victim and like how he's built this up over the years, because it's been 17 years in the making and we haven't seen every part of it. So it would be cool to get some more flashbacks, but that was amazing. And, um, the only thing that I hope is that we don't have to wait another six months for the next episode. But if we do, I'm okay with it. I will wait my entire life to see every single Alan Becker animator versus animation episode. And I hope you guys do too. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like on today's video. And if you did miss it, make sure to check out this episode right here. Click it.